Hey, everybody. Welcome to the third edition of Make It Pro TV. Uh, listen, I got to tell you guys, I'm really enjoying these shows that we're having here on, um, on Make It Pro TV. I've uh, met some really interesting people. I've learned a lot about some sports that sometimes don't get a lot of attention, but we're uh, doing we what we can to get the word out. Today, my guest is Johnny Perchak. He is a professional paintballer. Uh, I, I really didn't even know that there were professionals. Uh, I knew there were people that went out and, and did paintballing uh, competitions, but I never knew that people actually did it professionally. And uh, before we get to the interview, Johnny, I dug up a video of some paintballers going at it just to give the audience, uh, acclimate the audience a little bit into what that's all about. Let me tell you something. That's pretty intense stuff that you guys do out there. I actually saw some other videos that you were involved in, and I, I swear I, it looked like you were at war. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I actually was in that video a couple times. Um, I think that video's, I don't know, I want to say about four years old. Um, so it's kind of cool watching that. But yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. I guess so. Now, what I, you know, what it looks like to me is like it's a, almost like a battlefield that's set up. Um, and except that there are referees out there. How, how, do, how does it all work, actually? Um, when you get shot once, you're dead, and that's it, and the last man standing, his team wins? Uh, essentially, yeah, it's something like that. It's um, anywhere you get shot in your equipment, in your shoe, um, one, one hit and you're eliminated. Um, and um, the field's basically cut in half, is mirrored on both sides. Uh, there's a flag station on both ends. Um, there's seven minute games. And, um, yeah, you kind of just go at it for seven minutes. And um, there's a flag on either end. You want to go down and get, get your opposing team's flag and bring it back. Um, that pretty much only happens when everyone's dead so um, or eliminated, excuse me. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, as you can see, it's pretty intense. Yeah, it, it looks intense, but it looks like it's a lot of fun, too. And the good news is if you are dead, but you come back to life. So it's not the end of the world. Now, do you have to be a good uh, marksman to begin with to be able to become a paintballer, John? Um, I'm sure it helps. You know, I, I've never really been into hunting. Um, I have shot guns bef before, actually quite a bit. Um, but a paintball gun's different because there's no true sight um, the, over the feed tube across from, like, essentially where the barrel is. You have a loader, and that's what feeds the paintballs, and it feeds it directly into the gun and that obstructs kind of your view of where you're able to look down the barrel. So uh, you kind of just have both eyes open, and it's a point and shoot. Um, and it kind of just takes practice, and uh, you, you kind of just get used to where you're aiming. And uh, is there a strategy? How many people are on each team when you do this? Um, well, there's there's a couple different uh, a couple different national circuits. Um, the one you guys were just watching, it's uh, seven on seven. Um, but then you kind of have like a, a bench, so to speak, um, where you can rotate people in, uh, obviously not during the game, after each match. Um, and I guess there's usually around maybe 10 to 12 people on a team. Yeah, so do you, do you guys do a battle plan? Like, uh, is there somebody who's like the platoon sergeant? I <laughs> exactly how you're going to do this? Or, or how does it actually work? Uh, well, it's not uh, it's not so much like uh, set up like the military where you, you have, a, you know, like you said, a platoon sergeant. Um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, on, uh, on, on most teams there is uh, like a captain, so to speak, um, who makes decisions. And um, on our team, we're kind of uh, we're kind of all chiefs. We don't have too many Indians. Uh, so we kind of uh, collectively make make strategies. But, yeah, they give you a uh, they give you about three to four weeks ahead of time. They give you the field layout. It's different every uh, every event. Um, that gives you enough time um, where most teams have their own their field set up. Um, you set it up 
the way it's going to be set up at the event. You can practice it, and you can run different plays, and um, yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, it seems, it seems to be. Uh, now, how'd you get your start in, in, in uh, paintballing, and how'd you become a pro? I, as I said at the onset of the show, uh, Johnny, I didn't even know that uh, people could uh, become a professional paintballer. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't, um, but you know, you can. You can actually be a professional in a lot of different sports that, that you'd, uh, you'd be surprised about. But um, I, I just started playing, I think I was 13. I, um, I'm not exactly sure how I heard about it, um, but I ended up just looking it up in the, in the yellow pages. Um, there was a place called Mare Island Paintballs out in Vallejo. Um, and at that time, everything was just strictly in the woods. You, you wore camouflage, and you kind of crept around. And um, as you can see, it's not not so much like that anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, and I kind of just—I feel like anybody once you play one time, you, it's, you're just gonna love it. And, uh, and that's what happened to me. And ever, it's been you know history ever since then. I think since then, I, I think I turned pro when I was uh, 18. So I'm about to have my 10th year uh, in my pro season. One of uh, the people in our virtual auditorium here on Make It Pro TV, the nickname uh, this person uses is Kava Neal, uh, wants to know, how do you become a professional a gamer? Is there a school to get into it, and how much does it does all the equipment cost? Um, well, there's no, I guess there's no real fast track to being a professional, you know, paintball player, kind of, kind of um, like any other professional sport. Um, but you know, you kind of just have to pay your dues and um, and you start out kind of playing local tournaments and then they have uh, they have national amateur tournaments you can play in and then there's a national um, like tournament circuit where you, your team can play in all, all the different events over the United States. There's about five a year um, and it's a points race and I guess uh, the best way to do it would be to try to win the amateur points race and then you get an, um, if you do that, then you get an official professional spot if you, if you choose to take it. Um, and I guess that's the fastest way to become pro, um, but I think it takes a little longer than that. The first 30 people to leave uh, you uh, a, a message, by the way, on your uh, wall using your PalTalk ID uh, will get a free PalTalk premium upgrade. So it's the first 30. So I'm going to tell you, go to makeitpro.com slash profile slash Johnny dash Perchak. P-E-R-C-H-A-K. Only the first 30 get a free upgrade, so uh, rock and roll, guys. So you went pro, and then you kind of took a break from it all, I understand, and then came back to it and uh, decided to uh, start your own professional team. Um, something like that, yeah. I went pro um, in, in um, geez, 99 or 2000, I kind of forget, uh, with, with Team Dynasty, the team that I'm currently on now. Um, and then uh, gosh, I think it was in like 05 or 06. Um, I decided to to retire, and um, I was having some problems uh, flying. I, I, to you know, and to be professional paintball, you, you play all over the world. I used to fly about 100,000 miles a year, and um, I just started to, to not like flying at all anymore. And it was it really bothered me. And I was driving to the events, and it it, uh, it made it real difficult. So I decided to stop, and um, and then. Uh, 